had this hoodie, this jacket, this hoodie. Since like sixth, seventh grade, fifth grade. First of all, it's my number one team, it's my favorite team, and all that. And it means a lot to me because it goes all the way back to um, like our first, I remember my first like girlfriend and stuff. And you remember all that stuff as a guy and a girl, you know, in school. I'm married now, of course, you know. Uh, we're still like really good friends. She's like my sister and all that. Like, kind of cool. Like, that sounds weird in like a romantic way. But I still remember us, like, because uh, we were like the darker kids in our, in our school and stuff, like at our um, Catholic school. Like, uh, brown, and, you know, darker, whatever. I don't know. But we, it's like, it was like Princess and the Frog, kind of. I don't know. She's like, she's awesome. She's cool. We had math together. And that's just cool shit. She's like, my mom now, too. She's like, tight. She's like, really, really good friends, like, with my wife and stuff, too. And, like, long story short, we're in the same tribe and, like, Otter Beaver House and, like, Hogwarts and people and all that shit. And I just remember, like, being so shy and stuff. I think I already thought about it before. So, uh, and it's like, uh, I remember how, like, uh, just kind of how nervous we used to get. Like, uh, going to, like, the school dances and stuff. Like, before the prom, even with the prom and homecoming and stuff, too. I don't want to get too far into that. But, you know, it's around that time of year. It's June, you know. Um, 28, you know. We all remember that stuff. It's beautiful. I remember wearing my all-white tux to prom and all that. I remember with my good, with this really beautiful girl. You know, my friend. And, uh, you know, I wore, like, all-white tux with, like, the cool pink. It was tight. That actually was perfect, it was 2012, and uh, we went to the prom on the boat and everything, my uncle's boat, and it was fucking awesome, man. You know, we didn't get drunk or anything, it was not that, you know, so you kids, we're only, we're underage anyways, so, so just so you kids nowadays, drinking and stuff doesn't make you cool, it actually ruins everything, you don't remember it, you know, it was awesome, you know, there's there none of that involved, you know, so we're athletes anyways, we were, so, even if we weren't, we were good, we were good people, young, young men and women. That homecoming king or all that bull crap stuff, you know. Well, so we just had a good time with good people, with good friends. And we went to uh, it was at MT Bank Stadium, the Ravens. But it goes back as we were doing the slow dances with her and stuff when you were like a young kid. The first ever slow dance and all that, like fifth, 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 sixth grade. We were like wearing like the same Raven and stuff. So I don't know. It was just something I randomly I thought of. I mean, I'm a huge football, football fan, anyways. And there's all that stuff. It's good to remember that. It's cool. I talk about it sometimes. My wife's gonna make fun of me for that. <laughs> I know who she is. I know who she is. <clears throat> good, but good morning. I just wanted to make that more positive stuff because that's my videos. I think about other stuff later. I don't know. But every time, like, I don't know, everybody starts to get to lose their motivation every now and then. I guess that's just the way it is uh, lately. So, <clears throat> when that happens, just know it's part of balance, it's a part of life. It's the kind of way of God knocking you down for a little bit and balancing you. Um, so, I, when something happens like that, I put on a good movie or something. So like I woke up this morning, motivated as crap. I had some good dreams, little messages from, from my father. I'm watching Crooked Arrows, you know, one of my favorite movies ever, the cross movie, uh, being the, the Black Panther in the tribe. Looks like someone needs a D-Mitty. Show no pride for yourself. Rock this kind of stuff. <clears throat> I don't care what anybody says. Show your gear. We're the cross players. We're athletes. I'm an amazing dad, damn it. Amazing Dad, Spider-Man, the same tank I wore when I broke all the, when I came up out of that motherfucker with Sweetie, and downstairs were on the Jacob's Ladder, and I did that freaking, you know, that freaking bomb-ass motherfucking video, and I showed you efforts what was up and what was going down, and how y'all fucked up, and now look at us, we win. Team Jacob, Israel, David for life, Sammy D, bada bing, bada boom. I want to just show you guys that tank, damn it, and show you, you don't mess with me. I don't know where I came from, baby. I don't give a fuck. 
I'm about to go work out too. My foot was hurting a little bit. Damn it, it's another fucking foot. I just to walk away. I actually looked at it myself. It's not swollen or anything. So what the hell? What is it, a little bit sore, Sammy? Get your ass out there and run it, baby. And then get a good rest in, like I did last night. I get good sleep anyways. You know what I'm saying? It's beautiful now. The sun's not shining too much. It's, it's raining a little bit. Perfect. Wipe out the pollen. That's pollen. That's what I'm saying. You know, rock your totems. The Black Panther Spirit Animal. Right here, baby. With the Green Ranger, White Ranger charm. Go ahead. The Lucky Hook. Peter Pan, baby. Rock that. I'm a Cherokee, Native American. I'm an Israel. I'm trying to Israel. Rock your gear, man. If you don't have something to say, fucking put them in the head lock spiritually. Our ancestors will take care of it. Rock your gear. Rock it, bro. I don't care if they call me romantic or corny. I get. Have you seen my wife? I don't give a shit anyway what they say. Look at that. Hell, Mary. Heart. Moana heart. Rock that. Rock it, bro. Who cares? The brother bear totem. My other totem. Polar bear opposite. Cause they call us bipolar with their love. Guess what? We're bipolar polar bears. North, south, and Go ahead and call us what you want, baby. We don't care. Especially in the movies. We don't care. And you don't want you don't want to get in a coliseum with another person who doesn't who doesn't care like you don't care. Because I'll be dancing around like I am the Lord of the Dead says he Nothing but love and respect. You already know, baby. I'll be playing that. I'll be playing um, my Tai Chi and stuff, meditation. I put it on my phone. Um, a bunch of good stuff for advice for you guys, of course. I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a personal trainer, so I'm here to teach. So I got my little talk out of the way for the morning. Good morning. I got my coffee. Um, yeah, six thirty, cool. Uh, so do a little Tai Chi session today before I go work out. What do you say? Let's make it a good one because it's been a couple days since I did that. Just because someone wants to get, you know, say, oh, what are you like one of these peace guys and whatever. Like how are you gonna freaking like I don't care if you're being funny or not, like keep your fucking shit out of my shit. Like, don't judge, especially with my clients and my people and my family and love it and we get and we and we're better than you. Like that's what we are, you're squawker, you're fake, you're a poser, you're a loser, we're, we're better than you. You're on the wrong side of the freaking Mississippi. And I'll be everywhere. I'm very fast. With the lady's name, with my name with the lady's underwear. What's up, boy? What's up? Come see me. Another one in Crooked Arrows, these, they play this school called Coventry, the Native American team. They win, by the way. You know, they might be run, ruddy and all that, ruddy, like King, King David, but they get the job done because they're the ones founded by God, Israel, the Native Americans. Everybody forgets about the Native Americans. They're more so people of God than Africans or whatever, all due respect, or Spanish, whatever you want to call them. It's the same thing, all the same blood. We all come from the same place. Abraham, father of all nations, Abraham, Isaac. Jacob, Saul, Solomon, David. I mean, read the Bible. It's one of the love, obviously. I, I love this content, kind of baby. Where are my freaking prophets at? Where are my freaking chosen ones? Let's get out there, baby. Where are my anointed ones? Watch me for Israel. Let's get out there again. Come on, man. I'm watching your videos lately, and you guys are slacking. Like, I was like, I'm doing all the freaking work. Well, what's going on? You guys are getting lazy. I don't hear the trumpets. I don't hear what's going on. It's summertime, baby. It's eating time. Aren't you hungry? I'm hungry. You know what I'm saying? What's my quilt? My quilt that I made. When I was like freaking still coming up with stuff, doing my thing, not even doing anything like this in college and not even wearing gold yet. Not the biggest, not the baddest, not the strongest, not the fastest. But I'm the hungriest. And I'm gonna eat. And look at me now. Even on the hip hop when we were singing, I'm eating that mo I'm eating it up, baby. Me and my family, my wife's loving it. It's awesome. I'm doing it for all of us, baby. Get out there and eat it. You don't gotta be a freaking Professional athlete, you know, that's what it's all about. Whatever your jack of trade is, whatever your chosen do, be motivated about it, be passionate about it. I'm an Aries man, and I'm passionate about that stuff. Anything I do, I put my full focus in. No medication, <laughs> swag, ADHD self. I put my full focus in, or you know, I get the job done. Like the Big Daddy Kane song, I get the job done. You know, I'll be putting links up below the and all that stuff. No matter what, I got you. Whether it be funny boats, or the funny links, or whatever. Boats like a survivor. Hope I get your boat. <laughs> nah, yeah. It was like a bunch of fun on jury speech. <laughs> I used to watch that song too. Cool. But you know what I'm saying? Pick up your lacrosse stick. Get out there, baby. Pick up your DGK board. Get out there. Your longboard. Your. Pick it up. Get out there. Pick up your surfboard. Get out there. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> cool, cool, cool. It's, it's Saturday, baby. 
Don't worry about the Lord's Day and all that, you know, the day of rest. That's for, like, you can still work, you get your shit done, you know. I, I've, I've served in the Marine Corps, so obviously that shit doesn't really, uh, you know, because I'm a man of God always, anyway, so I'm sure God will understand, if, you know what I'm saying. But 144, kingdom, father, and husband, long story short, there's no day of rest, really. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man, we're not all old, we're not old, we're not chumps, we're not lepers. It's the opposite. So, yeah, like, I'm not even going to talk about it because it wasn't that stupid, but let's just say, like, there was, like, a, the, the movie Crooked Arrows, they play this uh, other team, doesn't matter what color they are, but they're, like, preppy kids, and they cry drunkards, and they, you know, they talk smack to these Cherokee uh, Crooked Arrows and stuff, and long story short, let them talk, let them do whatever they want, uh, they win the battle, but Crooked Arrows won the war, they won everything, they won the title. Right? Keep it at that. It's tight. But at the end, it's cool because, of course, they, it's good game always. It's always good game. That's one thing about me. I went up there and had fun. I still do. Whether it be on the, field, the football field, the cross field, track field, uh, the USMC, uh, PT field, uh, the classroom. Uh, I have fun. I, I help other people out always. Like group projects. I got my science partner in jail. I got you, girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> no matter what, to get the job, our job done, and get, at least get that passing grade, hopefully an A, hopefully a B, hopefully a C, D's a passing grade, you gotta, as long as we get by, right, we're doing those credits, but, uh, as long as we do it fair, and as long as the end of it, the game, the class, or whatever, we all look at each other and we say, it was a good, good game, quote unquote, my pop dumps just said me, I've always been a great, great sport, so, please, I want my children to be, be like that as well. Don't be like some other people I know who aren't great sports, or be really good, and be awesome in sports or whatever, and excel, and they're assholes, and no one likes it, I know other people like that too. Don't be like that, because that doesn't even make it worth it again. Because like what I was saying in that other video, how like it could be like a video, it could be in like a big mansion and stuff, being drunk and all alone, or just with these people who are, I'm with, but I'm not with them, you know, like that song here, What Am I Doing Here, by that one girl, Alexis. I was like, she's at these parties, but with, well, surrounded by these people, or, but, like, they're not really there, like, they don't even, like, they're not even real friends, that's it, they're not real friends, that's what it's like, that's what it would be like, so I'd much rather be in my temple, my shop, or my place with my wife, of course, than be a fake person, you know, like, uh, the Emperor's New Brew, you know, kind of like the, the Emperor, you know, you can have all this stuff, like, the rich prince in the Bible, they talk about this in the Bible, but, you know, you're not graced by God, you're not anointed, and you're it's not real, you know, it's fake, and that's what I'm saying, my, my middle name is Israel, Israel, and I, that's a reason for that, I know that, every time I say Israel, I'll be rapping about it too, Israel, Israel, I-S, it's literally is real, like you are real, like not a fake, that's Jacob, that's me, not a fake at all, would rather be that person, young man, uh, 28 year old, in, in a real life, with my real life, with my real son, with my real family, with my real God, with my real self, with my real dog, with my real parish, my friends and family, and some fake chump somewhere. Uh, no offense to whoever you are, take it how you want, or if you're a drunkard or whatever. You, know, you need to clean your act up, you need to repent and rebuke, that's what all this stuff's about. And I'm just trying to help out, I'm just doing it in my manly way. I'm not going to walk through, I'm going to follow myself. I'm going to do ups and downs in life myself, you know, and freaking slip ups, false accusations, and slander. So that's why I was the single male I am today. You know, I don't sugarcoat anything, dude. Well, actually, I do for the ladies, of course, you know. It depends on how you are in life, too. That's not saying you gotta take the, take it away of how, what the other person's going through, or whatever, like, you know what I'm saying? That's why, at the end of whatever I say, and anoint it to say, we use my, my gift, my voice of God, I say, what do I always say, guys, ladies and gentlemen, kids, whatever, whoever watches, I always say it. At the end of the day, at the end of this talk, whatever, you believe what you want, you say what you want, you do what you want, it's up. To the Father. Amen. The Lord Almighty, Yahweh Shai, my Father, our Father, our God. Hey, you guys can say that too. Make sure you always say that. Because remember, we aren't we want. We aren't God. That would make no sense. All of us would walk around like it's Mortal Kombat. <laughs> like <laughs> like uh, or like LARPing. All of us would go out in the street and we're like X-Men. We would go out in the street and like have like duels and stuff, like Pokemon battles, like but real. You know, like, people shooting fire, and one person has ice power, you know what I'm saying? That's funny if you think about it. 
So obviously we're not God. <laughs> we're not superheroes and shit that would be like that. <laughs> you know, stuff you see in anime and cartoons. <laughs> Ain't that fun? It's true. So at the end of the day, when you have a talk or whoever you talk to, whatever you do, you sit on it, you rest on it, you do your meditation or tai chi or whatever, and it's up to the Lord, the Most High and the Father, and He's loving. My name is Abil Loco, nothing but love, Green King. He is nothing but love. He comes from us. He created us, baby. Why would he create us to pick on us and be mean? No, he loves us, baby. He loves you. He loves you. He loves us so much. You know what I'm saying? Whether you're anointed with oil, whether you're wise, whether you're not. I don't know. I don't know. You don't know, right? He knows, though. He got you. That's why when I say stuff, I'm an Aries man too, man. Like, you have to think about that. Like, just look it up. Those zodiac traits are real. Astro astrology. That's the first sign, though. I'm, prim I'm the baby in the zodiac, so... I'm far from immature, trust me. But the way I do things is passionate. I'm a masculine too. Look at my hairy chest, bro. Like, I'm a very masculine person in a good way. I'm soft as hell. I'm a father. I'm a lover. I'm David. I'm standing I'm the youngest brother. I'm very soft. In a good way. Everyone, everyone actually should be. I don't even, I don't have any weapons. I don't do anything. I'm not violent at all. I'm a huge, my name is literally, my artist hip hop name is literally Libido Loco, which means lots of love, crazy amounts of love. <laughs> like, my brother bear lover totem. It's like the movie Brother Bear. The youngest brother has that totem. There's nothing to love. Uh, the Black Panther is a divide feminine trait. My father told me about it. Um, how uh, I have a, like a spider kind of sense, which is a divine feminine too, like a black widow, which is good luck. I've seen butterflies, you know. I take pictures of butterflies for God's sake. I'm a very, I'm Tarzan Tanisha. I'm very connected with love and the nature and stuff. So the, I don't care about it. Yeah, we all don't care about judgment or people who want to say this, this or that. And if someone does yell at you, try to bite you, like something that happened to me or someone I know. Um, the other day, like I saw this white guy yelling at like a darker guy, and the darker guy was just like working out, and the other guy was like driving, he was drunk, and the dark like the other guy probably was like I don't know if he could have weapons in his car or anything, and the other darker guy was just like running, like Jacob, for working out, yeah, working out, exercising, and he went like this, he did this to the um, the guy yelling at him from the street, he, he went like this to him, the dark guy did this to the white guy. And he was just like saying, what now, like what? And then the white guy was just like, he looked like he was still yelling, I don't know what he said, but they, they drove off. So like, it could have been like a fight or something, takes two to tango, but the darker guy is the stronger guy, the Jacob is the man of God, is the bigger person, and all that stuff. And that means, bless you, he did the sign of the cross, go in peace or whatever. But he was a man of God too, he's working out, and he was also probably getting ready to fight back, self-defense, able style. So like, he was like that, but he was also like, He's getting ready. And then the guy just drove off. So, I don't know, something I think I'd play. Something I would, I would do and I would want all of us to do. Be the bigger person. Say, go in peace, all that good stuff. And, uh, I'm going to store short. My wife will be very proud of me for that one. And I have to get some action. I mean, action as, as in, like, prayers. And, like... <laughs> Alright, so that's cool. I got all that stuff out. That was a good way to start off this Saturday. My foot's feeling better already. <clears throat> that, my, yeah, in my other videos, I was kind of quiet. And it had to be because I woke up early 4 in the morning. So the videos itself, the whole environment and the whole atmosphere and vibes of the video was different. But now it's Saturday and it's, I, got the, I had my sleep in. Remember? We had our sleep in, me and my wife. And it was pretty cool. I was nice. I like to like... 6.30, whatever, it doesn't matter, sorry, I, I don't mean to talk about too much about that, you know, I just, uh, I like to, you know, I guess when I do, when I do this, I'm an introvert, total, uh, but when I do do my job, of course, it's, I'm passionate about it, and that's when you bring out your extrovert, because you're doing the job, right, so I bring out, much like a uh, football player, like how you're practicing, you may be an introvert in the field, because you don't need to go that hard, but once game time comes, you pull out that extrovert, your passion, your work, you're ready to go all full hard, all out, get the job done. That's the same thing with this, this version, as a personal trainer, to make you sure that you are trained utmost physically.
to want to talk to like I look good spiritually. I got I got stripes. I got up there uh, mentally. I got the degrees to show and all that good stuff. Uh, emotionally, you see me. It, it resonates. People always say they see God in me. Like they can tell. So thank you. So, yeah. So I can help you get to that point. And start with yourself. And then, of course, mostly, like I'm talking about foot, I want to make sure you take care of yourself on and off the field, if you will, quote unquote. Uh, on and off the battlefield. On and off the, the, when you're wearing the combat boots, you're not wearing the combat boots. Like what they say to Rocky, you know, I want to make sure you're good on and off the, uh, in and out of the ring, Rock, Rocko. I could be like Ricky, you know. <laughs> I love Rocky. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to make sure, alright, everybody gets through losses and all that. If you lost someone, everybody lost someone, right? They're good, buddy. They're up in heaven with all Archangel Mike, with the angel Jesus, and they're watching over you. Trust me. That's it. It's angels. You got your, you got your job here, my brother. Like how I got my sisters. I love you so much. Yeah, yeah. You already know I go nowhere, sister. <laughs> That's my sister. I love her so much. That's my number one. <laughs> We're like twin. Dude, that's my bestie, yo. Um, two things. I'll talk about her in a second. That's a cool one. But first, also the Tai Chi session. You tell her how much I love her. It's just the way I'm excited about it. She already knows. Uh, 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 so, like, yeah, right now I got it. Um, you can go on YouTube. This is how I do it. YouTube has everything. I'll tell you about that. Even That's how I'm watching Crooked Arrows, too. Like, YouTube. Use those um, stuff if you can. I hope you can. Go to libraries. If, you know, if you don't have a phone or anything, like I would do. Um, or if you're, if you're in college, you have that. If you're off, they have libraries everywhere, guys. Anybody can get a library card. You know that, right? It doesn't cost any money. Yeah. I don't know, just so you guys know. I don't know if a lot of people know that nowadays. Very important. Anybody can get a library card. I still have mine <clears throat> from when I was a young man. I'm doing projects in high school and stuff. Or middle school. <clears throat> I still remember going there when I was a young kid and um, we used to buy movies there. I remember buying Mulan there as a young man with my mama and my siblings. And we would all go and we'd get our books um, right down the street. They were doing it. Yeah, so do use that, guys. Library. Anybody can get a library card. Um, so I put some of the same things I put on my stuff. This is how you know I'm I'm very connected with the different heritages and cultures and whatnot. I'm very authentic. My authenticity is out in my Italian bootie. Uh, I have African tribe music. It's awesome, beautiful. Everything's light and anointed by God. And it goes on for hours, so that's nice too. So I can do it and just play it and not have to keep changing it, which is annoying. Especially when you're working out too. You guys know what I'm talking about. When you gotta keep changing or looking for a right song and you just kinda get like irked. I get like that. Even when I'm running and stuff, you might see me. I'm just like, hey, right, I can't find the right song or something. <laughs> or it might get overheated or I'm too greasy and sweaty, so I just like put it down. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> it's true. But you can use that also for sleeping or Tai Chi or meditation. It goes on for hours and it's nice. And you don't have to put it on like your computer or anything. You can use it on your phone. Long story short, that would help somebody out there, um, young or old. Probably mostly elderly too. If you just put, and it's great stress reliever. That's the main thing. And it's really good for anxiety. I've noticed a lot of people, was, I guess, uh, maybe because like the shootings and stuff. It's good to talk. It's fine. We can talk about it now. It's been long enough. Maybe because of shootings and stuff and just everything going on, people, everybody, anxieties and stuff get high, especially when you're like me and you're a parent and, you know, you have a, you have a wife, you know, I know what it, dude, I know, trust me, like, I'm very in touch with nature and fellow humans and peers, like, as you, you know, ow, cross, did you catch that? I didn't pass that, so bad, I'll score later, whatever, I'm playing deep, I'm deep mini. Freaking, but I got Chinese, well, this is Chinese right now. I love freaking Chinese culture, Asian culture. I love it. The girls are beautiful, by the way. The same, absolutely beautiful girls, inside and out. Asian women. And the men, too, all right? You know what I'm saying? I love their culture. I love Jackie Chan. I <laughs> do. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, like, fellow Aries, like the Aries in me, too. A lot of people are like that. Um, like, I think Al Pacino is like Aries. Like, John Cena is Aries. You know, these... People like me, uh, Kid Ink, the rapper is an Aries. Uh, MGK is a Taurus, close. Um, my son's a Taurus too. Um, one of my besties is a Taurus. 
Dude, that's what you hear in a lot of my videos. The Native American flutes, beautiful. I even do that when I'm making food or whatever I'm doing. Or just chilling, or whatever. Um, and you can do Celt. I'm Irish. I got Irish roots. Celtic. Look up Celtic. C E L T I C. Celtic music's beautiful. Traditional Irish music. I like the highlands and stuff. Look at that. It's so beautiful. Uh, Arabian music from the deserts, so, you know, Islamic music is beautiful. I love it. Uh, you can tell I'm David, right? <laughs> um, different meditation, the ocean waves, of course, the rainforest, the tropical jungle. I have all that on there. It's absolutely beautiful. But that's the kind of stuff I use for my Tai Chi and just uh, meditation or whatever, laying down. I was in my hammock yesterday, and you know, you can see it on my Instagram and Snapchat story. How I'm just loving it. Right out there, set it up nicely. That's the first time I broke it out this summer, uh, June 10th. And it's beautiful. I got two hammocks two summers ago, but one of them, uh, my brother, I uh, gave it to my brother Ben in heaven, and uh, I have the other one, and it's, it's looking very good. And I, I bust that out, I lay in it. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's a nice hammock. You know, it doesn't go all the way off the ground, but then again, it doesn't all the way touch the ground, like you're on a carpet on the beach. It's very, barely off the ground, so you can still swing on it, you can still scrape your booty and stay balanced with the earth, if you will, which is true, but you can also be off of the ground too and swing on it, but the main thing is you're in your little cocoon, it's beautiful, I can, and uh, you can just fit on it any way you want, so it's beautiful, I love it, I love my hammock, I love my hammock, I busted that out, I put little pictures up and little cool, you know, uh, selfies, just showing pirate's life, <laughs> just being goofy and stuff, because I love it, I love it so much. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, I like to see myself as like a Captain Jack, or maybe like a Captain Jack mixed with Philip, who the, is in love with the mermaid, and she loves him too, and he becomes a merman himself, after he gets next kiss in number four. I like to see, I love it, I love it so much, I love the Pirates movies, I like to see myself as like that too. <laughs> But I like my little hammock. I love it so much. It's, I keep it nice and clean. I, I put it all up myself uh, two years ago, and it's nice. Uh, my brother Ben didn't take care of his, so he burnt his all up, but it's okay. He's a, he didn't really like it, I guess. <laughs> I love mine. I keep it nice. Uh, <laughs> my wife can fit in it too with me and my son. And he will lay on my hairy chest. I play music next to it and the sun, whether it's on or not, it's as comfortable, like it's sleep on it. It's, it's, it's very nice, it's very nice hammock. It's very nice. I'm very glad I got that hammock when I was 26. Hopefully it lasts a long time, that's the thing with those. If not, then I'll have to get another one in, uh, in due time. Anyway, it's good, it's good so far. I love my hammock. Uh, yeah, it's nice and comfy. I got to put the little. I went to put a video up of that bit. My grease. I have all this grease on my phone because I'm so oily. So I trained my wife too, and we work out all the time, part of our life, exercise. So uh, my phone still it still works, but it, uh, it won't let me post like uh, that via the phone. Cause I took the video and pictures on my phone, so I can't do it via the phone. So and look, you can see it. Uh, I guess if it's still up on the stories and whatnot, or you can just come to me and I'll show you myself. Or you can just maybe just pop your head out, you know. <laughs> I like, I like it. I love the hammock. Uh, Polish life. I got it. Oh, and with my sister. I was talking about that. She's cool. She's my buddy. Uh, it's just, we have a big family and stuff, and just she's uh, that's all I want to say about that. She's my closest sister in age, my younger, and we're, we're just like twins pretty much. And she's a great, uh, I look up to her too sometimes, and I guess she looks up to me. I don't know, I more so look up to her. She's awesome. Bless you and your, uh, your, your husband or whatever, your boyfriend. Bless you all. I love you all so much. I love seeing you every now and then. Um, That's it. Then we'll do some Tai Chi. 
what I want to do today. Really. You're alright? Not too much. Have some coffee. Really good. I can do some Italian accent too. You know? Want me to teach you some Italian cuss words today? It's Saturday. Well, first I'll do some romantic stuff. Ooh, uh, buongiorno, come va? Hello, how are you? Mi mogli bonita. My wife is beautiful. Conti ci ami? Which means, what's your name? Quale è il tomello? What's your number? <laughs> uh, oh, everyone knows this. Te amo se bello. They don't say it right though. Te amo se bello. I love you, you're beautiful. Te amo se bello, mi mogli. I love you, my beautiful wife. Uh, what else we got? I say, how are you? Salut. So just like the Spanish, bless you. On the Italian, it's salut. I like S A L U T E. Like salut. And then the Espanol, it's uh, salut. S S A L U D. Both mean bless you. Beautiful. Espanol and Italian are very similar. Almost a duplicate. <laughs> um, yeah, I know some cuss words in Italian, but I won't teach you that. I'm not going to teach you that. Okay, we're trying to get rid of that, huh? <laughs> if you need me, if you get mad, I'll teach you some. And then you can, but you be careful with it. You didn't hear it from Uncle Nobichi. You didn't hear it from me. I just No, no. <laughs> um, anything else I'm gonna touch up on? Yeah, no, not nothing to really talk about too much. I talked good about my, you know, I did my, I did my thing, and you know, you take it and and then just uh, ah, you I look at it positively and you look at everything with a grain of sugar, you know, you take it. Uh, the glass is a half full, okay, literally. You don't need all that good stuff. You know, you don't need all that stuff. You know, when the prodigal son comes home and all that good stuff. Yeah, let me just go in my farm and bust out the fucking swine. I've been waiting for you my whole life, like you're my wife. You know, it's it's not like that. You come home, you already know. Look, like, you know, right? yeah, I got my ring. Really. I ain't, I don't really, I don't eat pig really. You know, I gotta keep my six pack and stuff looking good, baby. You know, I'm good to go. We good to go. As long as you have a, you have your family, which is, uh, that's more than that, uh, that's more than, I don't, pe uh, I don't appreciate people, I don't like people who don't appreciate their family and their siblings or their loved ones, I don't like you. Me, Sammy, I've always done that. Whether you know it or not, I might have been quiet about it, but when I, uh, I talk about it, you already know, I talk about it. Who do I I love it. I talk about my wife every single motherfucking second of every day, okay? And my son. Of course, my beautiful angels, I love you so much, Dominic Samayu. Uh, my Dominic Samayu, you already know, Big Daddy got you forever and ever, as I hold you. Oh, I remember when you were born, I'm holding you, you know, she took the video and everything. It was a sweet child of mine right there, lost in you. I guess I was anointed as David right there. It doesn't matter what name is. I'm the daddy of your son. Right there, I cut your umbilical cord and everything. Oops, easy money. I was like, okay. I want to make sure you cut the puto, ticatati, suck up. Sort of side stuff. I know, we handled it very good. Dude, I did all the work. <laughs> That's a joke, obviously. You know, she did all the work. I was just there looking good. That's a joke. That's a joke. It was good, huh? It was good, huh? It was good, huh? It was good, huh? I can do that all day, like Gaylord Falker. I'm gonna start doing that. Just walking up into every freaking every time a girl's birth. Right here. I'm used to this. <laughs> Pretty much. I, I seen my first birth when I was like. 
I was like 12, 11, 12 years old, I seen him walk on birth. Physically in the room. <laughs> so I'm used to it, including my own son, of course. Uh, it's beautiful, the most beautiful thing ever. Even the cleanup is the most beautiful. Oh, you are either. It's miraculous. <laughs> Tai Chi session, you know, huh? What y'all think? Good. We gotta make it hurry because I gotta take a, I gotta urinate. Excuse my throat. <laughs> yeah. I've been dying. I've been, <laughs> I've been cutting down on coffee as well. This is only my second cup. It's good. I gotta balance it with my water as well. I've been eating really good too. I have not been overeating at all. I haven't been under eating. <laughs> no, I do get hangry. Sometimes, uh, but that's more so tired. Tired too. I woke up really early yesterday. But besides that, I've uh, been eating really good too. You know, we all keep we all keep each other intact with that. So I hope you all do too. If you have any questions, I'm right here. Always. Uh, you can catch me outside. How about that? <laughs> I love that girl. He's Italian. Uh, you can you know how to contact me. Okay. I've said it many times. Oh, the Divine uh, School is going <laughs> absolutely perfect, by the way. The one we started in 420, 2022. The Divine Catapult Twin Flame Soulmate uh, Academy. Uh, by the reincarnated King David and, and the Queens and Wives and the one and only God. Uh, going absolutely awesome, as you can tell. Pretty close, let go. Uh, bada bing, bada boom, baby. <laughs> historic and we're right outside of it in the field you know like it's a field inside the town it's like a school ground it's an old time uh china it's absolutely gorgeous 
on the with God is with us over. And I go, you know, we're, we're all there. Right, beautiful. More vibes are literally like the rainbow. Like how they do the New Year's Chinese parade with all the different colors and fire and the dragon dinghy that goes around. It's like a parade. And it's like the whole world is relaxing. Everybody's happy. There's something happy starting. It's a burst of energy and colors like the rainbow. Sleeping for that long, <laughs> also the form of just getting up and stretching out. And so, you know, a lot of old people don't get that. A lot of people just get by on the ball. You know, wake up and do this, get your voice to talk, and get really good for the day, for the communication, and the work and communication with all your loved ones. That's something I really don't really agree with. My goal. healing phase or, you know it's the after phase of the so, um, uh, hi rejuvenation stage or Breathe. Mm -hmm. 
three things I'm going to work on once again. Well, first of all, I want to say my goals for last week, I've done them. I've worked on my communication drastically. Um, my patience, awesomely. I, never, I, didn't really, I didn't yell or shout. I don't do that usually, but also with myself, it's been amazing. So I've gotten all my goals done. I hope you guys did as well. My church and whatnot and my prayers are getting better and better. That's not really a, <laughs> that's just what I say. I like guess a soldier of God, a warrior of God. I'm very passionate about that. Um, so I hope you all did your as well. Remember, if not, just think positive. Remember what I was saying. Think everything with a grain of sugar. Uh, move with love and treat others with love no matter what. Oh, be a glass half full kind of guy or kind of girl. It's as simple as that. Be positive. Um, some Bible verses, I'm not, let's see, nothing really is popping up right now, it's Saturday, so, I'm trying to think of it, I put a, I told you about it, much I was, um, earlier in the week, the Philippians 4.13, and the Ephesians 4, armor of God, Psalms 91, always, Psalms 23, verse 4, always, baby, that's my favorite, honey, Genesis 2.2.2, 2, 2, 2. Uh, the Revelation 16 to 21 is big. It's a big time. Um, so it doesn't have to be a maybe Bible verse that's popping in my head, but a story is um, the story of Moses, how he led the people and freed the people of God through Egypt, and how beautiful that was in the Torah, and how he got the Ten Commandments from the burning bush. And it's all in us now to this very day. So that's a good story to look into, or movies to watch, or whatnot. Excuse me while I talk while you do your meditation, whether you're sleeping or not, I do have a calming voice. But even yesterday, when I was feeling stressed or whatever after my run, I uh, just put on some films, movies, religious movies for me and my wife. And we watched, uh, I think it was the Book of John, the Jesus movie. And we went on to, well, also there's Moses, movies on Moses, also all on YouTube, or the Netflix, whatever. Just type in Bible stories. Something you can utilize as well. They have, if you don't want to do church services or anything, or praise or songs, you can just watch movies. Only. Movies are nice, you know. You know they have the uh, the Jeremiah movie with Brianna Lux. <laughs> they have uh, <clears throat> the Passion of the Christ, of course. Everyone knows that. Movie. I like the Resurrection of Gavin Stone, or the New Age one. I enjoy. I enjoy. I even like funny ones. I love funny ones. I love humor. Like the movie Year One with Jack Black. I love that one. So, you know, you gotta add humor in it too. The Monty Python, the Holy Grail. Huh? The users just keep relaxing and stuff. Remember, always treat everybody with love and whatnot. <laughs> Remember, you can always sit, hydrate or whatnot, whatever you want, and drink while you do it. things that I'm going to work on, but it's the same stuff, I'm going to continue, three people I'm thankful for is my beautiful, gorgeous wife, happy birthday, honey, bunny, my dog left to buy bugs, bunny, <laughs> um, my beautiful son, my angel, Dominic Savin, my five-year-old, um, myself, I'm going to put myself in there, my sister, Emily, and God, of course, the father. And my beautiful mother. <laughs> and my father. Man, I'm gonna throw all you on there. Go. Well, and everybody. I love all you. Um, any good friends I have or whatever out there, I thank God 
you know, if you, I'm um, sitting on my dog in prayers, and blessings and light to you and your family, as always. I'm always here for you. I always gotta say that. And if you say something mean, or you don't mean, or some lies, then I forgive you. But I don't care. That just doesn't resonate. That's why it just shows that what kind of person you are. God doesn't like that. But, whatever. Hate is gonna hate, as T. Swift always says. In the book of Micah. Oh. Okay, um. Alright, so I'm gonna finish this up. you all, send you everlasting peace, love, and light, uh, uh, entitled this beautiful, friendly, spiketastic uh, video, and so, uh, we had a beautiful vacation, me and my wife, especially with that hammock, <laughs> and, and just keeping it cool in the Caribbean here on the beach, on our shack on the beach, and our home. Continue to go with the flow, the beautiful flow of life. And the respect, love and respect for one another. And have a good time and have fun. And like my pop thumbs just said, shake hands spiritually or what? Good games. I'm proud of you all. I love you all so much. And keep those dirty, funny jokes going, ladies. I absolutely love it so much. You got my sense of humor. Okay? <laughs> Only if you're of age. Okay. Uh, any users. It gets dirty in the Dina. <laughs> All right, get ready. A couple more deep breaths. Let it flow your body. Clear it down. Hold it for a bit. yourself a clap. A good hour of entrepreneur personal training session. You gotta start doing that at the end of all this. You know what I'm saying? It's a long time. My classes, man. I remember when I first was doing these. You're good. You wake up whenever. Tell your friend to wake up. But I remember doing these first starting this. Like, I was nervous as crap. And like, I look how far we've come. And I, gave, I even did a day, almost daily. I was doing daily for this winter and the spring when I was working out in the cold and doing all my other stuff with family. I'm still getting these done at least once a day or at least once a week. I uh, went away for a little bit during this, you know, I don't know, a couple weeks and then I came back and I was even nervous about, nervous about it then. And now here I am, we're back on the ball, baby, like always, whether I'm doing it, whether I'm not, you know, I'm here, whether I'm in the wilderness, whether I'm not, towards Antonisha style, swag. And it's always out of freaking love, light, peace, and happiness, man. Because that's all that God is. And we're all brothers and sisters in Christ. We're all brothers and sisters in Christ, all right? And, no, and we're all Ohana. Nobody gets left behind. And everybody has their problems and stuff. And don't judge others, okay? Look at my hair. It's beautiful. And I'm just so... I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have so many of these... I don't have too much, but I have a good amount of these videos. I'm going to keep doing it. I'm glad I have that archive going and these classes. People watch them. People love them. And I love all you guys, no matter who you are. I really do. And I don't do it for that, but it's just more awesome. That that is just another um, way of God showing that hey it's working, but good job, dude. Look, check it out, bro. Uh, it doesn't. It's not in views, and it's not in friends, and it's not in likes, it's not in subscribers. It's in the us right here, literally the eyes, the soulmate swag. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's beautiful. And it happens when we sleep at night too, like the Otter Beaver House. You know, how otters hold hands when they sleep at night and stuff. That's what we do spiritually or physically. That's why I name it that. Like the Harry Potter funny thing, the fifth house, the otter, and then the beaver house is like the woman version because of the beaver dam. Like, it's because they protect us, the angels, much like how the tortoise, um, Adam and Eve, 
The tortoise has the rib and the rib stems and makes the shell to protect it. It could be golden turtle grouse if you want. You know what I'm saying? It's just another way to be your day of protection. But it will never get knocked down, if you will, for the seventh heaven, which is, hey, my greatest swag. It could be God, it's God, the Father, or whatever, with our eight. That's just number one. <laughs> it's, long story short, I'm glad we, I, I, I continue to do this with all you guys. And it's awesome. And it went from, I was nervous doing it with my iPhone, when it was all breaking and stuff, to a couple minutes or so. To being up on here and I was like, oh dang, I'm probably not going to keep doing this. To being like, what, a couple minutes or so, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And now every time I do this, it's like at least 40, 50 minutes or an hour. Which is awesome, which is perfect for a class. Because that's how long a class is. Whether it be, like, I don't know, maybe not middle school, but we're 20, I'm 28 years old. Whatever my demographic is. Um, you get your money's worth. Which is nothing. Because that's why I got my degree, baby. I didn't do it for the money. I'm good to go. I like what I'm saying earlier, God gave me my house, my spouse, my child, my health, etc., food, whatever, maybe some snacks, whatever, clothes, health, hygiene, my soul, my love, my... so everything else is extra. I did all that, gained all that knowledge and whatnot, got my degree and all that stuff, did serve and all that, so I could do this, and here we are, and so we're getting our money worth free, you know, for, and it's at least in the like I said, 40, 50 minutes to an hour or so, sometimes over an hour or whatever, and it's perfect. Like I was saying, that's like high school classes, what, 45? College classes could be 45 to over an hour. We're 20 years old, and, it, and it's worth it's worth it. All right? And you, even better, it's on the YouTube and stuff, too, so you can choose not to watch it. You can skip through it. You can skip through videos. You can mute me. You can blow me kisses, and I can do this. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, baby. Hey, just be lawful. Ten Commandments. That's a good way to end that. Alright. Uh, Emmanuel Yeshua, he lives on forever. Doja. Love all you so much. I'm going to get my workout in soon. Alright. Ten hours. Perfect. And uh, God bless you. God bless America. God bless every nation in the entire world. And continue living with peace. I like to watch these later anyways. So I can watch this video after my run or anything. Or when I'm lunching on some food or whatever. Or lunch, whatever happens. So... Yeah, love you all so much. I will label this accordingly. Uh, hopefully, I try to remember this kind of stuff. When I label it after, like I said, I remember some stuff and I like put it as that. And stuff that's actually in the video might not be in the title and stuff so, too. So it's important to watch the whole thing. That's for myself as well. Like every now and then. And uh, whoever you are, I'm proud of you. I love you. God wants me to say that to someone, a lot of people, you are loved, you're absolutely gorgeous inside and out, and keep shining, just like Bone Thugs and Harmony, they didn't want to see you shine, baby, now the, the world is yours and mine, and ours, like the movie, yours, mine, and ours, alright.